Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of The Retailer TV. My name is Bridget. As I hope you all know, I have an event coming up on the 24th of November. It's the Sales Basket. It's an annual sales event that caters for sellers and buyers, bringing them together under one roof and also helping to create a beautiful and an excellent customer experience. If you are already aware of this, then this video is for you. Today, I'll be talking about how to prepare as an exhibitor. So if you're an exhibitor going for any fair or an exhibition, yeah. you should watch this video because I will be talking about how to prepare as an exhibitor. So I hope to make this as brief as possible. First things first, set a goal. If you are an exhibitor, you should have a goal, meaning you know the amount of customers you're hoping to meet, the amount of clothing you're clothing or whatever it is you sell, you're hoping to sell or what services you're hoping to render. That's the first thing. The other thing is setting goals on how you want, how, how you want the day to go, how you imagine the day will go and working backward from that because that's the only way you can actually achieve that goal. You, you wouldn't know that you've achieved something if you do not have an already existing goal. Okay. Secondly is to train your team. You want to have your team on top of things. And by training, I don't mean something that's going to take a long time. It could just be uh, a talk. This is just going to prepare them for what they should expect and how to market your brand. If you want them to do certain things that will help people understand what your brand is about or to help shed more light on what your brand what your brand stands for then you should train your team on how to go about this because it makes it easier for them to know what to do exactly so train your team thirdly bring marketing material tools because you might need not you not you might you certainly would need to market to a lot of people you have a lot of people who are tripping in and out of that sales fair you want them to see you See, it doesn't matter how crowded the place is or how not, not crowded the place is. You want everybody who comes into that place to see you. So you want to have your marketing tools ready so that everyone can see you. The, the other thing people do not consider is even if you do not make as much sales as you would have hoped for, you are creating a new contact list and you want to create that. The only reason you can do that is if you prepare yourself for it. So market yourself. And that will lead me on to the next point, which is contact detail. You want to have a, a material or a writing material that accounts for every single person that walks into that place. You can partner or speak to the organizers to get some of this contact. But the other thing you can do is have a, a pen and a paper that registers all of your clients. If you do not want to use a pen and a paper or you want to or you want to do it on your computer, just make sure that you're gathering or you're putting together all the names of the people who are attending, their contact, their number, whatever contact they have, their email addresses, whatever. You want to be on top of things. Get their phone numbers, their emails, whatever way you can reach them because you want to create a new client list. You want to be able to reach them every time there's an event. You want to be able to market to them every time you have a new product or service. You want to be able to reach out to them every time there's something or a promotion that you need to share. Make sure you have all their contacts because this is an integral part of every sales fair. You want to create a new client list. I cannot stress this enough, okay? Lastly, you should get a booth. Look for where or anyone who is who is organizing an exhibition or a fair and reach out to them to get a boot. Once you do that, you are ready to sell. You're totally ready to sell and you want to make as much sales as possible. If you're looking for some way to exhibit, the November sales basket is on and it's on the 24th of November at the Jalobia Recreation and Garden. You want to be there, trust me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please like, please share, and don't forget to leave your beautiful comment. Also, when you subscribe to my channel, make sure you click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time my awesomeness is online and which is like every Saturday. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like, please share. You guys, I love, lots of love. Mwah.